Patrick Pierce was born in 26 Brunswick Street, now Pierce Street, to an Irish mother and an English father. He was an ardent nationalist from the age of 10, making a vow even then as a young boy to free Ireland. And he was commander in chief of the men in the GPO during the week of Easter 1916. He surrendered on the Saturday to General Lowe and was executed on the 3rd of May 1916. This is one of his great poems read by Ronnie Drew called The Rebel. I am come of the seed of the people, the people that sorrow, that have no treasure but hope, no riches laid up but a memory of an ancient glory. My mother bore me in bondage, in bondage my mother was born. I am the blood of serfs. The children with whom I have played, the men and women with whom I have eaten, have had masters over them. They have been under the lash of masters, and though gentle, have served churls. The hands that have touched mine, the dear hands whose touch is familiar to me, have worn shameful manacles, have been bitten at the wrist by manacles, have grown hard with the manacles and the task work of strangers. I am flesh of the flesh of these lowly, I am bone of their bone, I that have never submitted. I that have a soul greater than the souls of my people's masters. I that have vision and prophecy and the gift of fiery speech. I that have spoken with God on the top of his holy hill. And because I am of the people, I understand the people. I am sorrowful with their sorrow, I am hungry with their desire. My heart has been heavy with the grief of mothers. My eyes have been wet with the tears of children. I have yearned with old wistful men and laughed or cursed with young men. Their shame is my shame and I have reddened for it, reddened for that they have gone in want while others have been full, reddened for that they have walked in fear of lawyers and of their jailers with their writs of summons and their handcuffs, men mean and cruel. I could have borne stripes on my body rather than this shame of my people. And now I speak, being full of a vision. I speak to my people, and I speak in my people's name to the masters of my people. I say to my people that they are holy, that they are august despite their chains that they are greater than those that hold them, and stronger and purer, that they have but need of courage and to call on the name of their God. God the unforgetting, the dear God that loves the peoples for whom he died naked, suffering shame. And I say to my people's masters, beware. Beware of the thing that is coming. Beware of the risen people who shall take what you would not give. Did you think to conquer the people, or that law is stronger than life and than men's desire to be free? We will try it out with you. You that have harried and held, you that have bullied and bribed, tyrants, hypocrites, liars. <laughs>